So while explaining uh, the central dogma, at first it seemed simplest to believe that RNA templates for protein synthesis were folded up to create cavities on their outer surfaces, which are specific for 20 different amino acids. So it was uh, speculated that uh, on this RNA molecules, which, which has been synthesized from DNA, on this RNA there are some cavities present. And these cavities, there are 20 different types of cavities for 20 different types of amino acids. The cavities would be so shaped that only one given amino acid would fit. And in this way, RNA would provide the information to order amino acids for the synthesis of protein. By 1955, however, Crick became disenchanted with this conventional wisdom, arguing that it would never work. In the first place, why it would never work? In the first place, the specific chemical groups present on the four bases of RNA, that is uh, adenine, uracil, guanine and cytosine, should mostly interact with water-soluble groups. The uh, uh, presence of uh, uh, substrates or atoms on these uh, nitrogenous bases, they, only, uh, they, they would prefer only uh, interactions with water-soluble groups. Yet, the specific side groups of many amino acids like leucine, valine, phenylalanine, they strongly prefer interactions with water insoluble groups or hydrophobic groups. So, uh, the first question was that how uh, the uh, nitrogenous bases which love to interact with uh, hydrophilic groups, they can interact with hydrophobic groups. So, it can never happen. In the second place, even if somehow RNA could be folded so as to display some hydrophobic surfaces, it seemed unlikely that an RNA template would be used to discriminate accurately between chemically very similar amino acids like glycine and alanine or valine and isoleucine. So, these, these amino acids are very similar because they only differ uh, uh, by the presence of one methyl group. So, uh, these very resembling amino acids, how these amino acids uh, could be identified by these hydrophobic uh, fold uh, patches or folds present on the RNA? Crick thus proposed that Prior to incorporation into proteins, amino acids are first attached to some specific adapter molecules which in turn possess unique surfaces that can bind specifically to the bases on the RNA templates. So, uh, 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 before entering uh, into the protein molecule, these amino acids must be carried by some other type of molecules.